we're all familiar with the teaching of the Catholic Church that requires priests and obviously bishops, cardinals, popes, requires them to be celibate. Is this biblical? Is this something that is for all Christian leaders? Certainly Paul in 1 Corinthians 7 talks about the benefits of being single in terms of it's just you and the Lord. You're not thinking about a wife. You're not thinking about kids. You're not thinking about any of these other things. It's just you and the Lord. On the other hand, we know from Genesis, God said it's not good for the man to be alone. We know that Paul in, in Ephesians 5 talks about the husband and the wife as, as carrying out the image of the Messiah, Christ, and the church and the beauty of that arrangement and the beauty of that relationship. So we know that marriage is sacred in God's sight and goes all the way back to the book of Genesis. And, and some have said, you know, the Bible begins with a wedding in Genesis and it ends with a wedding in Revelation. And, and, and obviously, it's a beautiful, powerful image. Are some called to be celibate? Yes, look at what Jesus says in Matthew chapter 19. And he, he's talking about this issue. He says, there are eunuchs, meaning people without sexual capacity, who have been so from birth. So they were born without sexual capacity. And there are eunuchs who have been made eunuchs by men, meaning that they were castrated. And there are eunuchs who have made themselves eunuchs for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. Let the one who is able to receive this receive it. So he, he's, he's using eunuch metaphorically for the last class, saying that these are people who have made themselves eunuchs. In other words, abstaining from sexual activity and from marriage. But then he says, let the one who can receive it, receive it. So here's, here's what we need to understand that's very important. This was never for everyone. Paul in 1 Corinthians 9 talked about, about Peter and others taking a wife with them when they were traveling and ministering and things like that. He didn't, but others did. So we know, I and mean, we know from other scriptures, that the apostles or some of the apostles were married. And, and, and we know that 1 Timothy 4 warns against a false teaching that forbids people to marry. And you could say, all right, if there is the forbidding of marriage of all those in ministry, that is a false teaching. So there are some who out of devotion to the Lord say, I just want to single, be single. I just want to give my life to the Lord. I want to focus all my attention on him and, and touch the world through that. God bless you. And if God's given you the grace for that, God bless you. But otherwise, he has ordained one man, one one woman together for life as something sacred and beautiful, and it is not to be forbidden for ministers of the gospel.